how do you view yourself you know everything you think about yourself negatively is true your doubts are no facts work with the best material you have of yourself because you're the best i like the fact i'm doing this video now you know this is the third week on oh, the january first resolutions fire burning i want to do this i'm going to enter to sleep in the gym i'm going to in fact drink all the water by now it should have died down it is natural find what to keep your zeal popping if you've messed up already forgive yourself and move on there welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and i'm a finance consultant and a content creator so i have a blog metrogypsy.org and i have this youtube channel so what inspired me to make this video is the fact that i just saw everyone you know talking about the vision board drawing a vision board trying to create a vision board to be honest okay what's a vision board a vision board is like a pictorial representation of what your goals are or the kind of things that would inspire you to get to your goals i think that is what it's supposed to be so usually people you know create a board and then put different pictures of what they think they will remind them of what they want to achieve that year the year is a very good year stick there are obviously some goals and dreams that you will take five ten years but a year is just a fair way to measure things like um, quarter of the year you now check yourself or you know by annually you just check okay what has happened so i don't i don't have a problem with that to be honest i believe in resolution so that's fine but i just don't like the fact that people try to put a lot of expectation on that vision board or think like when you made a vision board you've actually gone like 50 steps towards what you want to be honest guys it doesn't it's not that way but i'm not that experienced but sometimes you actually sit down and think when you read books you see how people's lives are affected you actually sit down and just think of scenarios even in your own life and you can actually draw some conclusions i would love this video to be very interactive in the comment section like you guys can also share what you think will actually help you you know get to your dream best but i obviously know it's not just that vision board and i feel the vision board kind of distracts people as well to be honest, personal, okay, when we get to the vision board, four or five tips I'm going to share with you guys on how to actually make your new year more impactful, how to actually impact that change. Number one, it's don't deceive yourself. Like, just tell yourself, okay, what's, what's this now to achieve? And then what is it that like, I'm not good at? Like, what's the reason I haven't done it? Be truthful to yourself list your limitations that's number one you're talking to yourself you get you already know what your mind is tell yourself say it out write it down or whatever admit to yourself this is what i'm doing wrong this is probably what i'm not doing this is what i'm lacking in grace of god divine favor every other thing will follow but personally ask yourself the truth and be truthful to yourself about your wants and then your shortcomings yeah so that's the first step guys so the second thing i would say is stop putting the blame on other people It's so easy and comfortable for us to say, ah, now nah, it's because this person did, or it's because I'm not rich, or it's because I don't have this opportunity, or it's because ah, that person has all those resources. It don't make you just relax and come, oh, I don't have this. No! You are the only one of yourself in this world, so obviously you are special. Strive! And then you'll be able to see that come, you can actually push. Because once you limit yourself, you're kind of like giving up. You get so don't always just tell yourself come yes there's a way i can do it even if i can't do it with this person's name because of the resources they have i can find a way to achieve my own and then still get to that goal stop blaming people stop procrastinating and try not to put limitations on yourself so the third one guys forget all this my motivational talk whatever it is you call this one now this tip is the most important and what is it it is called a c t i o n <laughs> No matter how much you talk, no matter how much pictures you look at, no matter how much you stop limiting yourself, no matter how much you stop, if you do not take action, nothing is going to happen. Like that is just the basis of everything, to be very, very honest. So all this setting your mind, the thing is that for a human being to do something, your mind has to be set, your head has to be, that's why these first two steps are there, coming, not deceiving yourself, you stop limiting yourself and then action. Your goal might be like so massive. That you're so scared that come why is this goal this big break that goal into pieces breaking your goal into steps to achieve it might actually break it into little little smaller smaller goals and that's better for you so that you won't be looking so overwhelming but to be honest guys like as you always they always tell us whatever you dream you can actually do another thing about this action thing is obviously your head has to be right so try and make sure to cut off 
everything that wouldn't help you achieve these goals is it a habit is it a place you go is it people you know is it something you do obviously a habit if something is not adding to you just slice it off slicing something off doesn't mean being rude or mean or or bad just stop it could be something you're seeing on your timeline it could be someone you're even following on instagram or you know just cut it off just cut it off. Just cut whatever you think is not going to bring you benefit or happiness. Because be being in a happy state of mind helps you with confidence and helps you achieve a lot of things. Well, personally, when I'm happy, I'm so productive. You know, I'm more confident. So, yeah, whatever it is, just check yourself. What is it that I can do without cut it off? Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. And then in this uh, mindset thing I'm talking about, the most important thing is you. How do you view yourself? Trust me, not everything you think about yourself negatively is true you know your doubts are not facts so just try and work with the best material you have of yourself in fact inflate that material add tax let's say know your worth and add tax forget that i'm a shy person or i'm not organized or you know just any stupid habit you or anything you think okay come on I'm, 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 we just never make it or you know all that nonsense take it off just concentrate on your on point points and highlight them make them better <laughs> you know increase yourself better just see yourself in the best way if you cannot see see speed darlington all the people you see on instagram that you just be like what's this something but people are still watching if you don't think you are the best and then you're i always have people listen to that Nicki Minaj song in fact i'll play it at the end of this video i love that song it hypes me up like i just walk into work listen to i'm the best you know because you're the best and you have to tell yourself that so you can sell the market. If you're selling a product now, and someone says, yeah, what are the bad? You won't say any bad about the product. You will say all the good things. That is yourself as well. So when you're trying to work on yourself, everybody has shortcomings. Forget those shortcomings. Just work with your best material because it's yourself you're talking about. And then, yeah, so that's how to achieve that. My number three, which is the most important part, action. It also, you know, it has to, it comes from the mind, the head. Replace all the rubbish in your mind with the good ones. Forget all that crap. It's not true, guys. Keep it to yourself that you are the best show it to the world that you are the best faith it till you make it our number four okay this number four uh, is reality check i like the fact i'm doing this video now you know this is the third week so on the january first resolutions fire burning i want to do this i'm going to enter sleep in the gym i'm going to in fact drink all the water by now it should have died down it is natural so the only thing you have to do is to find what to keep your zeal popping that is when that your vision board comes in so that vision board you had that was like a board of pictures and everything i'm sure you were drawing cutting all these um papers you know uh, photocopying printing your body was just telling you yes i'm going to january third week you are just tired looking at it like okay what, what did i even say so this is yeah you need to pump that zeal because it will be dying it might last a month so in my last two three months it is natural for something like according to your moods even with time things change your zeal and passion so that is where that your vision board comes in personally i don't really like a static vision board because to be honest then change happens every time like you get like let's just say the internet before the internet came people that did vision board let's say three days before internet now came do you get like things change so much for me to have one board that will be helping me to be motivated in fact the pictures are just like the, the, my gallery like pictures in the beginning they always just look old though they remind me of moments and stuff but they don't inspire like they just remind me of things i was doing then they don't really push me forward so pushing me forward is as things are happening every day i'm as i'm seeing this person in one other country doing this i'm like ah, why can't i do this with, with this other field you know those are the things that keep me going and like the phone i don't even know having okay if i had a video okay maybe i'll snap the vision board and put in the phone and they're looking at no 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 i rather have collection where i say see this book I just bought guys it was something i saved last year one of my collections are like oh, okay after that other one this sorry <laughs> it's the same author so i bought it so that's what really motivates me like using my online features i know people it's good to use your hands and stuff but just writing things on my instagram saving collections just having things i don't know even the plan of like maybe the courses i want to do at work just write them down maybe just talk to someone okay let's do this course at this month you know things like that I don't really like or that maybe by december like what is going to happen in, in december i cannot even think of it now do you get like let's just let time just be going and then as every month passes i take things i even set another goal again maybe that month based on things that happen the world is changing so fast you cannot like one board cannot work for me but if it can work for you this fourth step is that vision board that's where your vision board comes in if you can look at your vision board and your fire is burning again fine create that vision board and use this in my number fourth step, which is the vision board that inspired this whole video so now let's i'm gesticulating too much i'm so sorry
Number five is discipline. There's nothing in this world that works without discipline to be very honest that's why i would just um tell all these young people who are maybe just finished school go and go and work for somebody i know ideally everybody wants to work for themselves but there's this corporate discipline that working for someone gives you it must even be in a formal environment just working somewhere where you're not in charge of your coins per se gives you some form of discipline having to wake up having to do things if you're someone that lacks discipline try maybe have plans try and schedule your things and remove temptation from your life which is like shedding those things i told you guys if it's people habits or what places you go um just crazy thoughts you think eat well use health your health is wealth and then sometimes when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing it might not feel your body might not feel right because obviously well, i think everybody has some form of laziness in them or i want to chill instead of doing what i'm supposed to be doing so it might not it might not actually feel like hey this is the right thing but just tell yourself come that discipline should just kick in and help you when you do something right you try and reward yourself you know just put breaks in between when you're like overdoing things and stuff just to make sure you know you're not like punishing yourself when you're trying to be disciplined and then um, another thing again like if you mess up like okay let's say this is the third um, january now i don't know what you some of you guys said you, it was going to be a resolution if you've messed up already forgive yourself and move on you know so um i think that's all really but let's just rock my Nicki minaj song which is a song i really really like like seriously this song pumps my whole life up <laughs> Which one tall should I go on the eight? You told me I would move, but I won. Got an eye of the tiger, the lion and the jew, the never see in my tongue. And the private party at the Buckingham Palace. Me, me, stop, 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 this moment. I'm back, doing it, doing it. I'm so sad. You could never understand why I grind like I do. But the girls will applaud, or the girls will commend. As long as they understand. I love this song, like seriously, every morning. This is not even just the song, this song is one of that song. I really like Nicki Minaj, <laughs> to be honest, because don't forget all this her anaconda nonsense. Like when she actually sings like deep stuff, I really feel her. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also follow me on Instagram. This dress, by the way, is made by Dora D. She's my cousin and she really so so good. So I wore this one today, so I'll take some pictures at work for her pic. This is a pinafore dress. No, I don't think you can really see. Okay, in fact, I'll just insert pictures because I took pictures today of you. The wild dogs cry out in the night. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you stick to these rules, develop yourself properly, arrange your head, and then you can look at that vision board and fire on. Please share your comments just saying how it is you're you know looking to achieve your dreams. And then let me even learn from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Above the